Hey Cappies, I'm going to do another energy update for you guys. Um, I know I already did one for you and then I'm going to do one for Aquarius since it's their birthday month or partial month. Um, so this is going to be general. It's going to be for both male and female. Um, you can apply it to where you need to because I do use gender sometimes and I know people are like, that ain't me, I'm a man. But you know, you can apply it if it makes sense to you. So Capricorn. Oops. Let's... Ooh. Let's see what is going on with you guys right now. What is going on with Capricorn Spirit? Please tell me what is going on with Capricorn Angie. What's going on with Capricorn? What's going on with Capricorn? What's going on with Capricorn? So we have to be fair. So this is about like justice. This kind of reminds me of the justice card. Um, there's like a fortune cookie and then something else in the other one. So this is about something being balanced um, and what's fair. So some of you could always be worrying or wondering why is something happening this way or it's not supposed to be this way. And you just want things to be balanced out and even. You want things to be fair, exactly what this card says because you're tired of maybe doing too much work or feeling like things could be better um at the bottom we have the fates so this is actually my happy card this is like very spiritual um you guys are really loving yourself and a lot of you are you know very intuitive you're um in touch with the universe spirit some of you could be seeing things as well with a lot of light there's a lot of light surrounding you guys and that's why you get so hung up on wanting things to be balanced and fair because that's how you operate and that's exactly what someone who is um on a spiritual journey who is a real divine masculine or feminine embodies like you want to be the best person the best you that you can be and I feel that is a, that's exactly what you guys are doing. And a lot of you feel like, you know, it's a lot of work to be this way sometimes, but you can't be anything other than that because that's who you're, who you are and that's what your personality is. So that's pretty good. So let's see what's going on with Capricorn energy for the collective. Capricorn energy for the collective. Capricorn energy for the collective. I know that is loud. <laughs> What's going on with Capricorn energy, please, for the collective? Capricorn energy. Oops. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have pregnancy. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know what that means. To me. Uh we have broke bitch alert. I know this is not you guys because you know Capricorns are usually good with their money. And then we have polyamorous relationship. At the bottom, we have, you need sound advice. Oops. And ancestor messages. Um, and it's in the reverse. I don't usually read reversals, but maybe there's something you're not seeing or even though you're being guided to it. Like I said, with this Fates card, I feel like a lot of you are um, divine masculine, divine feminine. So there's a lot of light surrounding you. And it's like, you're destined for something, for higher knowing, inner knowing, I should say, intuition. So, pregnancy, broke bitch alert, and polyamorous relationship. I feel like you guys were involved in a third party. I know we don't like to talk about that, but I feel like you may have been, un you have a, you didn't know it, you felt it, but you didn't have the evidence. And I feel like some, someone, I'm stuttering because someone's trying to, <laughs> this is how this person probably does to try to lie when you start lying it's like it comes out but so yeah this person had you in a situation um it was an unfair situation and you knew it wasn't balanced because you may have been doing more than the other person and this individual may have gotten the other person pregnant but they don't have no money so i feel like this person is stressing because what they going to do with a child and they have no money? How's that work? You don't have money to take care of that. And a child is expensive. Like, you know, especially when they're kids, if, you know, when you need diapers. <laughs> but um, that's going off topic there. <laughs> 
but yeah so it's like you guys always deal with this type of situation i can't see it no other way i'm trying to a new lease on your financial life and you're gonna have a lot of things coming to you, you can, that can be it too you're gonna have a lot of suitors people trying to you know come in your presence wanting to start something new seeing that you are somebody they want to create with so let's kind of break this down some of you could be asking you could be talking to other people and asking them if you are being unfair about a situation or asking them are you wrong to think what you're thinking Excuse me. What's Capricorn need to know about this situation? Dang. What's Capricorn need to know about this situation? One more card, please. Yep, you came out in your own. You just came out again in your reading. So we have the sun in reverse. That's like right under the pregnancy. We have the magician. We have the queen of pentacles. Mm -hmm. And the seven of swords. So whoever you guys were dealing with is not happy with their other situation. Like I said, I'm going with that first story because that's what's really popping out. This other person's not happy with their situation because they have no money. It doesn't necessarily mean they don't have a job, but they may not have a good paying job to support a child. And it's all because this person wanted to have multiple people. So now it's like they're seeing this and they're not happy. So this individual is not happy with the choice that they made. And the Sun card also can represent a child and it's in the reverse so this person um may be trying to convince themselves that that's not their child so they can kind of not have um what's it called not ownership but responsibility but you on the other hand capricorn that was weird that takes the fun you have the magician and the queen of pentacles So you guys are um, man manifesting nothing but money, um, security, stability, and you're doing good at it. Like you make it easy <laughs> by you being fair and being a very divine person. Good things are going to come to you. Like regardless, it happens effort effortlessly. And with the seven of swords, this could be you guys hiding what you do or what you're, how you're getting your money from people because it's none of their business. That's how I see it. It's like you are only showing them what they need to see. They don't need to know anything extra. So I don't feel like your sneakiness is coming from a place of negativity. Um, this could also be um, the person that you were dealing with was just very sneaky. Um, and like I said, you can never pinpoint it. You didn't have facts about what was going on. It's kind of like <laughs> I heard this person's well-trained. They well, they're well-trained. So this person had the women or the men involved with them trained not to post anything talk about it they were really that good that's what i see and look we have the empress here at the bottom of the deck so this is also about um being divine okay oh my gosh okay all right y'all this just kind of changed up the story this changed up the story that is still going on, but for some of you, with this Empress, Ace of Wands, and Two of Cups, you guys are going to be joining with a soulmate, somebody that is in your life, meant to be in your life. You guys are going to have a child. Yeah. A baby's going to get made. Wow. And this person may not have no money, though. <laughs> you may have a child by somebody that doesn't have money. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's what I'm seeing with these cards. The Empress, Ace of Wands, and Two of Cups. You guys are going to come together and have a child. That's what I'm seeing here. And it may cause some conflicts. This is somebody from your past. Okay. And look, Four of Wands, it's a twin flame. So yeah, you're going to have a child by your... Um, your twin flame and this is somebody that you've already dealt with i just yeah they're gonna come towards you for real um i'm this is like <laughs> because they see that it's like now you're moving like quiet about things and i feel like 
that might be what is attracting this person back to you but they're not happy in their situation and they want to kind of lock it down but yeah if you don't want any kids you know you know what to do i'm talking about like protect yourself i want to say i've been hearing that um with capricorn too what else for capricorn what does it need to know? what is this about complicated so this person that you guys are dealing with um could be in a complicated situation and they don't know how to communicate that to you or tell you um there's a possibility that you could be this friend that this person is coming towards to talk but with the ancestor messages in the reverse i kind of feel like yeah this person is sex one night stand this person is not going to be and i feel like it is a twin flame i'm sorry i do but I feel like this person's just got a lot of baggage and they have some things going on. And if they come towards you, it's not going to be, um, it's going to be a rocky situation. Yeah, player energy. Yeah, you guys are going to be dealing with a player. And this player, the reason why they're not ascending to the next level is because they're not seeing it. So that ancestor message in reverse is them not going with their intuition. So I feel like this person knows they're connected to you. They are going to come towards you. And it is going to end in pregnancy. I know we are, I meant to say we are meant to be. I know we are meant to be. Yeah. So this is your twin who's not, has not ascended yet. <laughs> Coming towards you. I hide my feelings a lot. I'm still with my ex in depression. So yeah, your person's energy is coming out here. They're a player. They try to be a player. They're not happy with their ex. They could be living with this person for stability because they don't have much to take care of themselves. And they're hiding their feelings for you. And they're also hiding their feelings from their ex because they're depressed and they're unhappy being with them. It wasn't supposed to be like this. This is everybody saying that. Why is everybody saying that? All right, Capricorn, that's you guys' reading. Um, let me know how you, I know I went over for y'all, but y'all be, you know, y'all be giving me comments and likes and views. So I love y'all. And plus, I'm a Capricorn, so, <laughs> okay. All right, thanks for watching.